In this video, we are talking about the dilution equation. Um, we use this equation a lot, um, and we use it when we are changing the concentration of a solution by changing the amount of solvent. So, dilution means change the amount, changing the amount of solvent. Um, and when you do that, the amount of solute doesn't change, just how much solvent there is. Now, you can use this equation here. Okay, so dilution really means adding more solvent. Usually it's water, right? So we're diluting it by adding more water. But this equation also works when we're concentrating a solution by, say, evaporating some of the water and making it more concentrated. But here's the equation. Make sure you memorize it. C1V1 equals C2V2. C1 is the initial concentration. V1 is the initial volume. C2 is the final concentration. And V2 is the final volume. Now, the concentration can be in any units of concentration. Typically, it's molarity, but mass, volume, percent, or any other unit of concentration works just well, as well in here. And the volume can be any unit of volume as long as it's the same on both sides. The same goes for the concentration. You can use any unit of concentration as long as it's the, the same for C1 and C2. Any unit of volume is as long as it's the same for V1 and V2. Now, you, know, you can solve for C1, V1, C2, or V2. A lot of times you want for the, the final concentration, so this is what the equation would look like. Sometimes you want the final volume, and sometimes you want the initial concentration or initial volume, and it would look like this with the ones and twos switched. Let's do an example where we actually have to do that. So let's say you need to make 2.33 liters of a 0.545 molar, remember molarity, um, unit of concentration, potassium chloride solution, and what you have to start with is a stock solution of 5.85 molar potassium chloride. What you want to know is how many milliliters of this stock solution you need, need to dilute. So how many milliliters of the 5.85 milliliter molar, excuse me, stock solution do we need to take out and add enough water to it so that we have a total of 2.33 liters? How much are we going to dilute so that we end up with a concentration of 0.545? Well, the dilution equation is what we use because we're changing the amount of solvent. And in this case, we want to know the uh, milliliters of the initial, the stock solution. So we want to know V1, our initial volume. So if you solve for V1 by cross-multiplying, dividing both sides by C1, you get this equation right here. V1 equals C2 over C1 times V2. And here, C2 is going to be 0.545 molar. That's the final concentration. Our initial concentration, C1, would be 5.85 molar. And our final volume, V2, will be 2.33 liters. We want to find V1 in milliliters. So what we do is we plug in. There's C2, there's C1, there's V2. And we get V1 in liters, 0.217 liters. And all we do is multiply by 1,000 or move the decimal 3 to the right to get our answer, 217 milliliters. So we'd need to take 217 milliliters of 5.85 molar potassium chloride, add enough water to it so that we have a total of 2.33 liters, and then we would know we would have 0.545 molar potassium chloride. 